Over a year ago, an EdGun project started that at times has been a wild roller coaster ride, and that was just my outside perspective. But for Brian at EdGun West, it's been a whole lot of blood, sweat, and tears. I teased it in videos a year ago, or cryptic Easter egg photos on Instagram, all thinking it was going to arrive within a couple of weeks. But weeks turned to months, months turned to years, but that ends today. So come along with me as I travel out to California to visit Edgun West headquarters and build my very own 357 Blackout, or more formally known as the Leshy 2 9mm. Yes, I said that right. A semi-auto 9mm Edgun Leshy 2. Before heading out of town, I like to go pretty hard on the critters to send a message and, uh, you know, keep them away for a few days at least. So those pellets that go boom that I showcased in the last video, they did a pretty good job. Uh, but within a couple of days, they forgot all about those fireworks. This time, I grabbed a Dirty 30 and made some quick work before my flight took off the next morning. All right, so that should keep them on their toes and off my roof at least. So time to head out to Head Gun West and get my eyes on my new 357 Blackout. I've been talking to Brian about this gun for what feels like forever at this point. It's actually not the first Leshy 9 mil though that I've had. For those of you whom have been around for a while, you'll remember the original Nasty 9. This was built on the iconic Leshy Classic platform, which was a fun little single shot as I lobbed 81 green pellets downrange at critters hanging around the table for one. Don't get me wrong, 81 grains going 500 feet per second, absolutely smashed up. But to be honest, it was a bit of a novelty. Now the 357 Blackout built on the Leshy 2 platform, far from a novelty. And in some upcoming videos, we're gonna explore some slightly different use cases that you uh, you probably don't typically see on this channel. The first time you've sent this is a 450 barrel. What are we what are we working with? What's on that reg? Uh, one, 140. 140. Okay. 450 barrel, 140. You want to do something stupid? Yes. Oh my god, I'm Should muzzled. we do it? Yeah, hold on. Let me let me cover my ears. Should we do it? Yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay. All right. So 110 foot pounds? I think so. I don't know. I have to do the 120? math. 120? Yeah. I think it's 120. So? That's 120 foot pounds. <laughs> the muzzle brake's so stupid loud. That is so stupid. Who would do that? <laughs> I don't know. What kind Who of idiot does mu that? Muzzle brakes on an air gun. I don't know. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on a second, dude. That's a 450. Yeah. 120 foot pound backpack gun backpacker over the past couple of years brian's been working on moving manufacturing and the full assembly to the u.s he invited me out here to dive in and put the finishing touches on my own personal nine mil so uh this video doesn't get a strike i don't want to bore you either with me turning wrenches and with my shaky hands but just close your eyes and imagine a big boy version of build a bear going on so I'm not a big serial number guy, uh, but I went with number nine, uh, my original hockey jersey number as a kid uh, before I moved to goalie and went to 35, but that's another story. Uh, and this being the nine mil too, I thought that was a cool one to go with. So for barrel length, uh, I decided to go with 450 millimeter, but you can get it in the normal Leshy 2 lengths of 250, 350, 450, and 600. For me, uh, that 450, man, it's just a perfect balance between size and function. Uh, with the quick detach suppressor and the Leshy 2 folded in half, it fits in a standard pack like this Eberly stock switchblade, which I stole from Ed Gun West, by the way, while I was out here. Uh, listen, unboxing vids are lame, so we're going to do a reboxing as I pack this bad boy up. The intention was to make this super premium and include everything. 
So in addition to the gun, here's what you get when you open this box. Uh, depending on the barrel length, it's either a five stack behemoth trilug or a be uh, the five stack still uh, behemoth reflex uh, suppressor. You get a 350 cc bottle along with what you might notice here if you're paying attention, the new monster plenum buttstock. Uh, an FTE Bacarta grip, the new handguard which corresponds to the barrel length, uh, a couple custom Picatinny rail sections. These are actually made to fit the gap between the suppressor and the handguard, so it'll no longer be scratching or be able to get that suppressor in there. Now you can. So a new reg adjustment tool, fill probe, O-rings, and two titanium magazines. And oh yeah, that muzzle brake to show your buddies just how loud this thing is without the incredible behemoth suppressor. Yeah, hold on, let me, co <laughs> let me cover my ears. Should we do it? Yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so time to seal up this bad boy and send it off to my house i'm gonna be taking a few days out here to play some golf and hang out with family uh and then we'll meet this guy back at my house where i've got mm, you know i'm not gonna tell you I'll just say I've got some fun plans to showcase its power and compact size. So if you're looking for more details on the 9mm Leshy 2, I'll drop a link in the description for Egg Gun West. You can check them out and get any additional questions that you might have answered. So thanks for joining me on this uh, slightly different kind of video. Have a great week, and we'll see you all very soon. If you like shots like this, you should probably watch this video next.